please. Hi, good day, good morning, good day, good afternoon to everyone. Um, I'm Barry from Hong Kong, represent the Coffee and Tea Association of Hong Kong of China. And uh, today my topic talking about uh, during the COVID-19, uh, everybody's suffering in the world, uh, including uh, us. But luckily, uh, we, we have, uh, our country have controlled the COVID-19 very successfully. And uh, I hope you don't mind because my computer very small screen, so I have to look, look at the big screen now. And uh, so uh, I share to you, maybe you can see the document on the screen about uh, the, the growth rate in China, about the uh, COVID and tea situation in China. You can see the chart. Can you see the chart now, gentlemen and ladies? Yes? Yes, okay, good. And uh, so now you can see um, uh, on the chart, you can see uh, for the last decades until uh, we predict, we predict from 2019 uh, and 2020, and you can see the growth rate until 2024, it's all the way up about 9.1%. And uh, the COVID-19 start in 2020, but doing even suffering in this uh, pandemic in the world globally, but the consumption and selling market in China is growing, is growth all the way up. And uh, during uh, this time, you can see the, the coffee market, especially mostly uh, coffee and tea market, mostly focus on a major big city like Beijing, Shanghai and, uh, and Guangzhou and uh, Western China. But actually in China, when you calculate the big population of the city, over one mil uh, over 10 million population of city in China <laughs> is a lot, actually. Uh, you, you have to keep in mind that we have 1.4, over 1.4 billion population, okay? For example, like in Shanghai and Beijing, already over 30, 40 million in one city. And uh, so you can see the growth rate and uh, on the chart. Uh, especially uh, in China, Yunnan produce uh, very good coffee and tea, but even we do have produced uh, a lot of coffee and tea in Yunnan, uh, almost the only province produce coffee and tea, but uh, we are not enough. We don't have enough because we have big population, very largest population in the world, 1.4, over 1.4 billion. So we welcome to import any good coffee and tea from anywhere in the world, especially especially our friendly country. And uh, um, we produce tea in the Eastern China. And uh, in uh, 2017, we have export about 1,800 rose coffee, uh, over $22 million. Uh, but actually when we import, we are increasing yearly. And uh, Especially when you see the chart, um, 2019 and to 2020 and 2021, all the way up until the, you can calculate about 9.1%, okay? And uh, this growth rate, coffee pots and capsule and consumption in China. And uh, doing this, luckily, uh, we only have suffering, uh, uh, for the retail market only, because we have to close down many shops. Even now today, we have outbreak in Hong Kong. Uh, 10 days ago, we only have 300 people infected. But unfortunately, last 10 days suddenly have a huge outbreak, five times throat until uh, yesterday. I think we have 60 to 70,000 people infected suddenly in 10 days by the Omicron. And so the, our Hong Kong government are forced to close down many retail shop, whatever F&B, food and restaurant, any kind of retail shop, even hair salon. And uh, that is uh, badly uh, a setback for our retail market for coffee and tea. Very terrible. But for the supermarkets still open and uh, chain stores still open. And online store, online marketing, you can buy via internet is no problem. So uh, still okay, but only now a day have problem with retail market. 
there's whatever for selling coffee or selling tea. But 10 days, 10 days ago was okay. We, since uh, the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic since 2020, two years ago, and we, we are okay. Sometimes we don't have anybody infection, zero infection for the last two years. Suddenly, only 10 days ago happened. And uh, so last two years, our retail market is still open. The life just like longer, only about maybe 10% affected our life. Other time is all okay. So that uh, coffee and tea situation, if after pandemic, I'm sure is a very good booming in the world, especially in China, because you know that China have very strong economy, uh, very strong uh, domestic uh, GDP growth. The economic power is just next to USA. Well, actually, I think it's already over USA, and uh, and also. Uh, our export all kind of industrial products, normal life, and uh, all, even our agriculture sector is still very, very healthy and very strong and running in regular basis. And that's why the life of in China, 1.4 billion population, Lomo, that means uh, demands demands more, more. Uh, Roger. High quality of coffee and tea, very demanding. High quality coffee and tea. That's why uh, I, I'm sure China and Hong Kong. Uh, Hong Kong is uh, one of the major city of China, so we are welcome anyone in the world produce good coffee and tea by Hong Kong import into China. And uh, okay, now my presentation. That's all. And any any gentlemen and ladies have any questions? because I only have one minute left you to ask me. <laughs> okay, we'll have the Q&A sessions after all speakers have uh, present their presentation already. Thank you very much, Mr. Barry Yuan here. You have opened the floor. Thank you. Yes, thank you, sir.